Hello again, and welcome back to part 12 of Let's Play Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, where we are going to be getting more Platinum Relics, again, <laughs> this time from Glacier Park. So, we're going to do the stages in order again. So, first one is Wizard Bluff. I don't know if you could hear that. That is another train going past my house. But anyway, here we go with another Relic Race, and Wizard Bluff. Now, I'm going to post this while we're in the loading screen, but this so far is my pro progress on the on the Grand Prix and as you can see I've actually managed to complete all of the objectives which is pretty cool so all I've got to do now is keep completing the daily weekly and quick challenges and hopefully I should be able to fully complete the the Grand Prix with on gold which is looking good so far I mean apparently if you use fully specced out cart and stuff like that you know like Fully, ki fully kit it out with everything from the Grand Prix, which awards you extra bonuses, like I'm doing here, I'm playing as Isabella. <laughs> Apparently, you can get about 2,000 Nitro a day, and I'm at 30 something thousand now. Oh, I missed that. Off to a bad start. So I'm at 30,000 now, and I need 42,000, so within a week, hopefully, I should be able to have the Grand Prix fully completed. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be in the top five in order to get that cart. But, I can only try. Uh-oh. Right, uh, that was not good. All you can really do is wish that this goes well. I'll get the shortcut on the next lap and it's out of the way and over with. But at least I've got some of the hard prep crates out of the way first, which I suppose is all that matters the most. But I generally never have found the stage to be too hard when it comes to getting the relic anyway, so... Worry not too much. I know I did miss a few crates there, but hopefully I should still be able to get them within the next few laps. on, can I get it? Oh no, I missed it. Right, you know what, I'm going to restart. Because I mean, it's going to take a few tries. I think I might actually get the shortcut out of the way first. But I'm telling you now, this is the most I've ever struggled getting relics. And that's in this remaster version. But hopefully I should be able to get them soon enough. There we go. Well, I nearly had it, but I mean, you've really got to get the boost pad. I mean, the ice is a lot more hard to control in this version, which doesn't make it too much easier, to be honest. I'm actually going to go around the outside way first, because then I can actually get all the boost I need, which is what I need. And why did I jump over the crate again? Why does this keep happening? And I would have had that, but I got a bit imprecise. Oh, nearly. Yes, I got it right. That's good. So at least I've got that one shortcut out of the way, which is the hardest one. So all I've got to really do now is just complete the rest of the race without screwing up missing any crates. Which is what I seem to keep doing. Nice, right, that's at least I'm out of the way, so I need to worry no more about those ones. I just know I've got to take a shortcut on the next lap. And not miss any of these crates here, more importantly. Yep, good, awesome. Right, can I get this one? I thought I had to have boost then, but obviously not. Right, I missed two crates there, but I can always get them in the next lap. It might take a bit of time off, but not to worry. And I missed another one there, great. Uh, but hopefully that shouldn't make too much of a big difference. I'm hoping anyway. Yes, uh, I thought I was going to miss that then because I jumped too high. That would have been an absolute disaster. 
Right, I've got that one. And I've got that one. Nice. No, oh no. Oh, sh right, yeah, good. I still don't think this is going to look good for a first attempt, but not to worry. I don't know what the time requirement is for this stage anyway, so hopefully things will still be good. Come on, let's get this for us free sake. Please, please be platinum. Please be platinum. Oh no, it was only gold. Oh well, never mind. It was the first attempt anyway. If it weren't for me missing those crates, I'm pretty sure I would have had the platinum. Lightning dash. Ooh. And classic cart. Ooh. Okay, so here we go with take two. Hopefully, this time, I'll do things a little bit better. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so at least I've got them three crates out of the way. So I've only missed one other crate, so hopefully this time I should be able to get it again. It should be an improvement on my last run anyway. Hopefully so. I don't understand what the heck that was. <laughs> that was pretty messed up. So, oh no, no. Hop, 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 hop. Hopping seems to give you a bit more control. What I've learned on the ice. So I suppose I could use that to my advantage. I'm not too sure. Oh no, why did I do that? So we need 45 seconds to get the platinum. Can I get this one? Yes, nice one. Can I get that one? Oh no, no. Why did I miss that? I didn't want to do that. Right, I've literally got like 5 seconds to complete this lap. That's not going to happen. But I mean, wow, the time... I mean, I've missed it already, so the time requirement seems to be really tight. You know what, I'm actually going to try that again. And what did I say about this stage being one of the easiest to get the relics on? Because it really is not. So at least I've got that out of the way. That's what I really want to do to begin with. I get that crate and that crate yes that's that's one thing oh my gosh this is like literally worse than doing the crystal challenges I'm telling you now this is like definitely the hardest thing I've attempted so far in this game well I missed the how did I miss the checkpoint that was not checkpoint, the shortcut. That was terrible. Yep, so I've got that. Nice. Right, three seconds. Awesome. Right, I've got to try to get the race completed literally in 15 seconds now. Which hopefully I should be able to do it if I keep if I keep it up, keep the speed up. Can I do it? Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I? Can I? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yes, nice. Yes, got the platinum. Finally. Wow, I thought that was literally was going to be a close one. But obviously not. So we might have taken a while, but hey, at least I finally got the platinum relic on Blizzard Bluff. to wait for all the loading screens now because the loading screens do take a slight, quite a while. I'd say they're not as bad as reignited on a standard hard drive but 
but still take quite long. So here we go. Nice. So I think the next one we're going to do now is Dragon Mines, which should be easy, hopefully. But I keep saying that every single time, and it's going to be, it, it ends up being harder. So here we go with Dragon Mines, do a Relic Race. Now this one should be easy, apart from going through the tunnel. Apart from that, this one should be pretty easy. And once again, this level looks really pretty. And also, once again, I keep forgetting to do perfect starts. Which is probably going to cost me time. So I'll get all these crates first, then that's out of the way. Brilliant. <laughs> and I may not be talking too much because I need a high level of concentration. But what I can tell you is that this one is going a lot better than it did the last time. So can I get this drift into this tunnel? No, I did not. Come on. Uh oh. Well, that was pretty bad. But hopefully I still have not lost too much time. Because I don't understand how he exactly meant to hop onto that track. Especially now there's an extra bit of fence there. If you haven't noticed. Apart from that one mistake, hopefully I should still be able to get the platinum. Because, I mean, this race has been pretty much perfect. I mean, I could boost a lot more, but I don't want to really miss uh, any crates, so. Yeah. And I keep hitting walls now, so this is actually getting worse towards the end, which is not what I want to do. Here we go. No, I missed the one second crate. Oh, damn it. If it weren't for that, I would have got a good run. But now I know in the next lap to probably try to get that first and then it's out of the way. And I'll try to get the boost tunnel done first as well. Or if I can boost through the tunnel. And I keep getting squashed. Why do I keep getting crushed? Here we go. Nice. That was a lot better than the last time. So I've definitely got a much more of an advantage. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'll just get them for now. But at least now I know how to do the tunnel better. So I suppose that's one thing I can improve on. No, oh no, no. Right, that is not a mistake I wanted to make, but I, I managed to at least quickly correct it, so I suppose that's one thing. I've got to go on the track, and I'm going to get squat crushed. Oh no. That's not what I wanted to do. Right, where is the last crate? Oh no, I'm missing a crate. Where the hell is that crate? Oh, it's there. What? I can't believe that. I actually missed that crate out going round on the second lap. Oh, I'll see you back in the race. Right, here we go again. This time, I'm actually going to get it a little bit better. 
At least this track is a lot easier than the last one. So I suppose that's at least one good thing. Right, go over to that side. Yes. Right, that was a lot better than the last time. I'm bound to get the relic. Oh, shoot. What the hell was that? <laughs> I jumped far too soon. <laughs> As if I just did that. Right, I'm going to get crushed. I know that. But hey, at least I can jump over there still. So that's something they have kind of changed in Nitro Field. Where you have to go a little bit further along now. To make it off that side. bit similar to what they did in Reignited where you now have to charge and jump. Now, I missed that crate. Like, that was so stupid. But still, hopefully I can get... No, I missed him again. That's not... What... Right, I'm going to start again. I, I just... Right. And speaking of this, I've also got to try to get the Platinum Relics in Nitro Kart as well. It's just isn't easy as well. I mean... Not as easy as it was in the original CTR. But now this is starting to prove to be a real pain. Yes, I've got in the tunnel. No, I didn't. Oh, no. Right. Hop, hop, hop. Can I get to the end of here? Yes. Nice. Right. Jump over here. Yep. So I'm kind of getting it for the most part, but still... Probably not good enough. Oh, why do I keep hitting everything? Oh, damn it. Oh, I missed two crates again. Why do I keep doing that? This is so hard. Sorry if I sound really whiny, but this is like really hard challenge. Which I just know I'm not going to get complete. Whoa. Well, that was a close one. I actually thought I was going to get got then. Right, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to break here. Yes, good. That's that's one thing. So I've got 54 seconds, so that's literally a minute and four seconds. If you count the 10 second bonus. But hitting things is not going to get me it. So literally 15 seconds from now to complete this race. Pretty much, anyway. Now I've got only 10. Oh no, this is not looking good. However, there's a time crate up here. But it's only one second. That's no good. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, what the hell? Literally 0.75 seconds? No way. I'm going to be here all day. I can, I can tell you now I am. <laughs> Literally going to be here all day. I didn't get the boost at the start. What the hell? Right. And I'm so sorry that these parts are so long. I suppose it is understandable if you think about it. Well, right, that was a clip. Oh my lord, right. right. What I've got to do here is I've got to try to go through here. Yes, good, right. And can I get that one second crate up here? That's the main question. Yes, nice. The jumps seem really hard in this game, like for example I can't get the shortcut in Sewer Speedway anymore. I've been trying to get the beat Oxide for the last... for about two hours last night and I just couldn't do it because I could not make the shortcut in Sewer Speedway. It seems to be very temperamental, sort of like hit and miss. Right, let's go through here, yes. Right, this last lap, I can do it. No! Oh, no! Why, how do I keep doing that? <laughs> this part's going to turn out absolutely dreadful, guys. I really do apologise. I've never struggled so much getting relics in my entire life. Right, up here. Run, 
Yes, that's good. Nice. So I just want to go down here. I thought I was going to get got by that train again, but fortunately not. Right, here we go. I know I can do this, but I'm, hang on, I'm actually going to make over the 10 second bonus nearly. Wow. Right, that was definitely a big improvement over the last one. Awesome, right. At least that's two out of the way. Hey, we've got a player online, uh, Kila Tenshi. So if you're watching this, here's your shout out. Because <laughs> I do have notifications on for when players do appear online. So here we go, that's that. So just give me the, the... The podium animation takes so long to load up for some reason. Right, Tiny Arena, which is the next one we're going to do, should hopefully be a lot easier, if you think about it. <laughs> so here we go, we're going to go for Tiny Arena now. Which should hopefully be a lot better this time. And I kind of miss how that's not in an igloo anymore. I thought that, that was really cool as a kid. Let's check my recording still going. Because we've been recording for half an hour now, even though... Hopefully I don't want to make this part too long. Because, I mean, the last part did turn out to be really long. Here we go, tiny arena. The only real problem I should have is getting that one second crate there, which I jumped straight over at the start. But hopefully next time that should not be an issue. But normally I manage to complete this track without needing the 10 second deduction anyway, so... Hopefully this one will be easier. But it's so different in the remaster, like I've said before. Oh no! Right, why did I do that? Why did I just jump straight? Miss all- Why am I missing all the crates? Right, I like to get three and ones on this stage. Because that way, it gets at least some out of the way. But if I miss any crates, I'm not actually going to go back for them. Because I'm pretty confident I can do this stage without needing the deduction anyway. Because I didn't in the original. But once again, the original was different. Right, here we go. If I get this one, that's good. No, I didn't get it this time around. But if I don't get it next time, I'm not going to worry too much. Because hopefully I should still be able to get the platinum like I've said before. Right, I know there's two crates here I've missed, so I'll remember that for the next lap. Knowing me, I'll probably forget them.
Oh no. Right, why did I do that? Why did a handbrake turn? I didn't need to do that. Now, I don't know what the time requirement is on the stage of Platinum. But I'm pretty sure we'll find out at the end of this, still. I love how that, like, that guitar melody plays there. And I missed the crate anyway, so no worry. I'm going to get that three second crate though, because I think it's worth it. Well, I did think it was worth it, but obviously it's not now. So I think next time I might not so worry so much about getting all the crates, but worry more about... Just getting a fast time. But still, I don't think this is going to look good. I think it's only going to be a gold. But not to worry. The only thing that's stressing me out is these Let's Play parts are going to be too long. And I don't want to, like, bore you all from watching these Let's Plays because I take so long to try to get Platinum Relics. Way. This is the final turn now, so hopefully things should be good. Keep it up. I don't know what the time requirement is, but I can only try. Let's see the best what I can do. Here we go. What is it? Platinum! I got platinum still! Wow! I didn't even get all the crates in the most yet platinum. I knew it. I mean, wow. I mean, I could do this in the original. And I mean, they have kept the time requirements the same, I'm pretty sure. And I got 73 nitro coins as well. Uh, Wumper coins, I mean. Now that's the thing, apparently Wumper coins you get the most in Tiny Arena, from what I've heard anyway. It could just be rumours, I'm not too sure, but apparently you get the most Wumper coins in Tiny Arena. But anyway, we just got one more track to do now, which will be Polar Pass, which hopefully should be easy as well, especially if I can master getting loads of boosts. The only part I really can think I can struggle in on is towards the end, where there's the skid pads on the ice. But apart from that, the rest of the track should be easy. And what did I unlock? Hey, I got Spiderweb decal on Team Cortex. Now that'll look pretty good, especially if you're racing in Cortex Castle. <laughs> you know, because of the spiders. So anyway, here we go. Polar Pass, the final stage to get the relic. So wish me luck on that one. And then after that, we've only got four more relics to get, which will probably be the hardest relic, so we'll tell you that. But still worry not too much. Hopefully I should still be able to get them right. Without making too many mistakes, Oxide Station will probably be the hardest. And possibly Cortex Castle, I don't know. Anyway, here we go, Polar Pass. We'll worry about this one first. And I love what they've done to this stage. Especially with all the extra detail they've added. And that was actually one of the first stages that we ever got to see. Before we got to play this game. And how did I miss that crate? I don't understand what happened there. But, I'm still going to keep going anyway. Hey, and Mr. GameSend is online as well, so that's two people now online. Yep, yeah, that's good. Nice. Right, here's the hard part. The skid pads. And it was actually a bit easier than expected, even though I did miss one crate, but I can always get that on the next lap, so worry not too much. Hey, I got a Sacred Flame. You know what I'm going to... No, I've lost it. I was going to say I'll keep the Sacred Flame and just hit as many crates as I can. Well, that's not going to happen now. And he allowed three seconds for the Sapphire. That's actually pretty genuine. Uh, generous. I mean, I keep mixing words up. Why am I doing that? Words that sound similar, I will say. 
Oh, uh oh. But were we not? I should hopefully still be able to get all the crates. The only one I can really see me struggling on is that crate at the end. Oh no, right, I missed that crate two seconds, but I won't worry too much about that. No, oh no, right, that, that is pretty bad, that was pretty bad. I don't know what that's going to mean for me getting the platinum. But still, all I can do is try. Yes, at least I got that three second crate there, that's one thing. But if I could keep the sacred fire, that would help a lot. So I'll just keep the boosts up now to keep the speed up. Which should be the main priority. And I thought there was a two second crate around here, but obviously not. Yes, I've got that, so all I need to do now is turn around here and get this three second crate here. Nice. And then hopefully I should be able to get all them together. I can only try. It's going to be hard because it's on ice, but I might as well get them. I mean, it's, good. it's a 10 second bonus. I mean, I'm not going to miss out on that, am I? There we go. That's that. Now, I don't know what this is going to mean for Platinum. I think the Platinum time's 2.15, if I'm not mistaken. But, wow, well, um, that was that was awful. Why did I do that? Here we go. Let's see what time we got. And it was gold. Oh, dear. Right, I don't know what the Platinum time is. We'll figure that out in a minute. But not to worry anyway, we're just going to have another go at this. So just bear with me one moment while I make a quick cut. Hey, snowflake sticker. That'll look pretty cool. And I got shield and axe as well. Awesome. That'll look like medieval things for the... And the viking head. There we go. Nice. Right, here we go. Take two. I mean, this is only the second attempt, so I actually consider that to be pretty good. Right, I'm getting a bit more precise with the drifting. Apart from that two second crate there, but not to worry about that, I can get that in a later lap, no problem. Pretty good. Right, two minutes and five seconds, so I was quite close, but then again quite far off if you kind of get me on that one. But then again, I did make quite a few mistakes the last time, so that's probably the understandable reason for that. I know it's that three second crate there, but not to worry too much. And then Fire Breathing Mouths look really cool as well. I'm pretty sure they didn't do that in the original, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a nice new addition. Oh no! Right, that was really dumb. Why, why did I even do that? Yes, that's good. Right, I've got the blue flame. I need to keep that. 
well, it lasted for so long, but either way, it's helped. So I suppose that's one thing at least. So I've got just over 30 seconds to complete the lap. Mind you, there is a 10 second deduction, so we'll call it 40. If you want to be a bit more lenient with your time. Now, I think this will be a perfect run, apart from falling off. For a relic, anyway. Anything where you get platinum for the relic is considered really good. In my, in my opinion, anyway. Oh no! Right, that was, that was stupid. That was... Right, this time, I'm going to get it. I've got literally five seconds. Can I do it? Please tell me I can do it. Come on. Come on, come on. Yes. Nice. There we go. That's all the Platinums for Glacier Park. Nice. So that is that. At least complete. Finally, we managed to get all the Platinum Relics in Glacier Park. <laughs> and it did take some time. But anyway, this part has been going for long enough now. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that for today. But, of course, everybody, thank you so much for watching once again. I really do hope that you enjoyed this part. Me getting four more Platinum Relics. And I love this animation of uh, Isabella right there. That's pretty cool. I love her as a character in general. But anyway, that is that. So, of course, everyone... Thank you so much for watching, I hope you'll enjoy it once again, and I'll indeed see you all in the next part where we collect the final relics from Citadel City. <laughs>